This is amazing. You can see the green quark is an up quark. He's very happy. He's very up. And you can see he's got two thirds positive charge. They're very sexual beings, but they have three genders, red, green, and blue. And they're only really happy when the three are together in a loving bond. What we see is the two, the green and the red have got together and they've spotted the blue, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen the formation of a proton. Oh my God, it's an electron, ladies and gentlemen. This bizarre dance that the electron is doing is the quantum mechanical relationship between the electron and the proton. And ladies and gentlemen, we have formed a hydrogen. Let's have a round of applause for the hydrogen. Okay, there's another formation of a hydrogen. It's over here. There's a blue quark there. Oh my God, there's a red, there's a green. They're very energetic at the moment, but as our energy declines, oh, they spotted the green, here we go. Oh my God. Now what we need is another electron. Is there an electron hiding somewhere? <laughs> the proton needs two electrons to be satisfied. So it forms a sort of polyamorous relationship with another proton. And that's exotic sort of figure of eight dance that we see, those two protons sharing those two electrons. And that is what scientists call a covalent bond. <laughs> A covalent bond, ladies and gentlemen, that forms a molecule of hydrogen, two hydrogens together, forming a hydrogen two molecule. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have a unique opportunity here. We can create sunlight. The very thing that powers the sun, fusing two hydrogens together to form helium. Now these two protons aren't going to want to come together easily. We're going to need to push them. Let's gather around. Half of you, push this group. Half of you, push this group. Push them together. Come around here. And when they push together, they release photons. Look at the photons coming out. Now it's very unstable. What's going to happen is one of the quarks is going to change from an up to a down by releasing a W boson. There it is. And now he's gone from being happy to being sad. He's a down quark. And now we have, instead of helium, deuterium, which is a form of hydrogen that is super heavy. Oh shit, that does sound pretty heavy, right? That's the heaviest kind of hydrogen we Oh shit! That's some heavy hydrogen, ladies and gentlemen. We have an incredible opportunity here. You are going to recreate the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> Throw your photons back at the two particles. We're going to try and split them up. We're splitting them up. I'm going to throw the W boson back. You can, and then, so now we have two protons again. To make the Higgs boson appear, we need to speed these things up. We need to have them running around in this circle. And they will try to escape. But when they try to escape, you must push them round. And on the third pass, the blue quarks will collide. Oh my God! The blue quarks have collided with each other and we might expect at this point the Higgs to suddenly appear. <laughs> Quick, someone throw a net over the Higgs boson and we'll drag it into the tent. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have caught the Higgs boson. We have discovered it in the Large Hadron Collider. 